In this video, we're going to show you how to onboard to Control-D and set up a couple devices in just a few minutes. Let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is fill out a form. We've already done so. So we're going to press this button. It might give you a CAPTCHA, and it'll ask you to confirm your email address. Once you've confirmed your email address, we're back to the main interface. So the first thing you have to do is create a profile. Let's do that. We'll call it first one. So we've created our first profile, which is basically a collection of rules. Currently, there are no rules in it, so let's go create some. So let's block some ads. We're going to block malware as well as set it to strict mode. We're going to block newly registered domains, phishing. Let's block porn for good measure and AI tools. Since we use ChatGPT as an example, and we don't want to have that blocked, we're going to go into Services and search for ChatGPT, and we'll make a bypass rule. This will prevent ChatGPT from being blocked, despite the artificial intelligence filter telling you that you need to block everything. We're going to skip the rest of this section because it's going to get a bit more advanced. That's all we need to do for now. So let's go to Device Provisioning. So once you go to the endpoint section, you'll notice that you have no endpoints. We're going to create our first one. Since we're running Windows right now, we're going to set it up for Windows. In the drop-down, select Windows. We're going to call it PC1. Feel free to be more creative. Since we only have a single profile, it's going to show up here. Let's create that endpoint. All right, from here you can ignore all of this unless you know what to do with it. We're going to click Help Me Configure and click on Automatic Setup. You'll be presented with a few commands. We're going to go with PowerShell here. So we're going to copy the PowerShell command and paste it into my administrative PowerShell and press Enter. The installer is going to do its thing, and we are done. You will notice that this flips to successfully configured. Close that off and click on analytics. We should see DNS queries that my computer is currently emitting. That's pretty much all there is, but let's do another one just for demo purposes. This time, let's do a pfSense server. We're going to switch to choose server. We're going to choose endpoint type, search for pfSense. We're going to call it test1. Since we only have one profile, we're going to keep that as is. We're going to create the endpoint. Much like before, we're going to go to Help Me Configure, Automatic Setup, and copy this bash command. We're going to open Terminal for the pfSense instance that I have running here. Paste it and press Enter. And we're done. You'll notice that this flipped to partial success because we're not actually using this pfSense router as our router out here at the office but it would work just the same. If we click on Analytics, you'll see that there were in fact queries being admitted from this router. If we want to see these queries in real time, as an example, we can go to Activity Log and then switch it to real time and make a couple more commands. There we go. As you can see, whatever we're digging in here appears here pretty much instantly. And that's pretty much all there is to it. In the next video, we're going to do some more advanced setup flows. Thanks for joining us.